Okay, good day everyone. I'm ER and I'm from Amex Basket and welcome to our kitchen. So today, we will be learning how to cook a healthy version of breaded squash. So yes, breaded squash is basically squash inside a breading and roasted. So now, uh, breaded squash usually is eggs and a lot of oil. So it's basically not so healthy, but right now we're going to make it like completely healthy. So we have here, to make it uh, still taste very good, we have these things. Now first, we have sesame seeds. We are going to roast the sesame seeds. Instead of oil, we have sesame seeds. It has very good kind of oil and the taste is also so just good enough for this um, breaded squash. So here, we have a heated pan. So let's heat our pan until medium heat. So now we wait a little bit until it's like a little hot enough. Now it is hot enough and we put the sesame seeds inside the pan, into the pan. I mean. So here we have our spatula to mix, help us mix this thing. We are going to roast the sesame seeds until it's golden brown and until you smell something good. Something so good, yeah. So I I'm sure you can smell it, right? This will take like about um, a minute or two. So yes, if you do not have a blender, we will be using a blender to blend this ev everything, flour and this uh, sesame seeds. If you do not have a blender, you can roast a bunch or like uh, a load of this and you can bring it to the market. Dito ni mo pagaling sa market and you can bring it back home. Be sure to put it inside the ref para, you, of course you made a lot. So you just get a little bit uh, how much you need. Now we see the sesame seeds. Ah, I smell it. And just lacks a little bit of a uh, little bit of the brownness that I want to achieve. Now it's done. Okay. So this is the sesame seeds. It's quite brown now. And we have the blender here. Let's open this up. Get rid of this and put in the sesame seeds. I roasted like a lot of this, so we're just going to put two to three tablespoons of this and the flour that we have here. This is whole wheat flour, by the way. Whole wheat flour is healthier, so much healthier than the white flour that we can buy just in the market. So if you could find whole wheat flour, it's like in most of the healthy stores and even in the uh, flour suppliers, whole wheat flour doesn't stick to our colon, so it's like, it's really healthy. And still you have the same good taste and the texture is there too. So I put like two tablespoons of this and water. Don't spill. Here we go. Cover the blender. And now we're going to blend. Okay, now that it's done, that was like a minute or two. So it basically depends with how fast your blender is or how strong it is. But until it's really fine, and now it's ready, we put inside the bowl. Here we go. Set this aside. And just enough for the squash. So I think this is a little bit... So we, when, you, when you blend, just put a little bit in the blender, a little water, so that it will blend a little bit faster. So now we add more water and more flour if you have a whisk it would be really good let's mix this up until we reach a consistency just enough to bread the squash or soak the squash or i mean let it stick to the squash we should salt the squash this is so that the squash will absorb a little bit of the salt and it will be tasty inside and out and yes here also in the breading we put a little bit of salt so now i can't give you a exact estimation of the salt you have to taste it so here let's just add a little bit more of salt just a pinch of salt and let's give it a taste that's enough just good Okay, so now we see, let's try the squash inside, dip it inside. Okay, here we go. 
and yeah, if you have the tongs, just to get rid of the uh, stickiness in the hand. So now here we put in some of the onions. Yeah, let's just put half of this, like a tablespoon of finely chopped onions and garlic. Garlic is so good in this. And green onions is finely chopped. All of this together is going to make a very good smell and taste. Right now, let's give this another, another mix and whisk and whip. All right, this is ready. And now the squash is in here. It was there all the while. Okay. Oh yeah, this one will like bind everything else together, the onions and garlic. So thyme leaf and curry powder. Both of this together is going to make this perfect. Yeah, if you don't have thyme, sometimes you can see thyme, it will still, it will still be fine. But it would really be good if you have thyme and curry powder. You can find this everywhere in the market. So just a little bit of curry powder. And let's take the whisk again, mix this once more. And that's it. We're ready to, this is one of the uh, most, ni ni the nicest part in the cooking. Now, before that, let's see. So you see here, the breading is just enough to stick into the squash. So. Right now, we will be putting inside the, the squash into the batter. And while doing so, let's heat the pan. Heating the pan, um, it, it makes this a little bit, it, this is non-stick pan. So when you heat it just the right uh, amount of heat, it will make it a little bit more um, against the stickiness. So it won't stick so much if it's just hot enough. Now the squash is inside our batter. Here we go. Mix and let it stick into the squash. Look at that, that's so good. So now the pan is hot enough. If you really want to make sure that your pan is hot enough, you could put like water. So when the water just like evaporates immediately when you put it inside the pan, that's really hot enough. Not too much hot and not too cold because it will stick or it will burn. So here we go. I guess you didn't hear that, right? I heard it. And the second one. Let's put inside the pan. Slather it in the sauce. Win in the batter. Okay. Now if your batter tastes really good, you can do this. You can add some batter here. I know this is going to taste good. There we go. Okay, so let's uh, wait a little bit. Let's just heat this up. And we have this spatula again. You will know when it's good enough to, we're going to turn it over. But right now it's not good enough to be turned over because uh, the other side is still wet. So we have to cook the the other side until it's brown that's going to take like a minute or two the squash is so good you know you hear this everywhere it's very rich in carotene it's good for our eyes now why don't we use oil and why don't we use eggs oil oil is a food for cancer so it's like really so carcinogenic especially if you heat it up so we won't use any of those so that's why we use a non-stick pan para dili good mo pilit ang kining squash o gatong batter into the pan. So this is non-stick, but still we don't use oil. When it's heated up, it becomes carcinogenic and you don't want cancer. And yes, eggs too. Too much chemicals and you don't want the side effects of those. So yes, none of those this time. We just have flour and everything that I mentioned, I want to go something that's really healthy. And now yes, it's cooked. Let's turn it over. That's it. And the other one, turn it over. And we can wait for a while to let it 
cook again. So now this is how we should know how when it's cooked enough. So if you have a fork, now I have these tongs. Just punch it into the squash. It's still hard right now, so that means it's not yet. Okay, so yes, to make this cook a little bit more faster, yeah, a little bit faster, we use a cover. Here we go. Let it stay for a minute or two. Okay, so I think it's done. Open the lid off. And yes, like I said a while ago, let's see if it's the squash is soft enough. Indeed, it's soft enough. Just so good, and I smell it. So, let's put this in the plate. Here we go. Yes. Breaded squash without the eggs, without the oil, without anything unhealthy. Okay, there we go. And yes, guys, you can eat this now. It's going to be good. Let's see if it's really good. And you can dip this in something like tomato sauce or everything. Now, right now, we have this basic tomato sauce. If you want to learn how to make this, just look for the other episodes that we will be uh, producing. So this is, this we will call this the basic tomato sauce. The breaded squash into the tomato sauce. Mm. Wow, I think it's really good. My right, friends, this is done and it's so easy. Remember it? It's just the squash that's salted into the breading and all those things roasted and into the plate and that's it. So first timers, what you need is just a little bit of courage and yes, is that God's help. So my friends, if you want to learn even more how to cook healthy foods, healthy dishes, and tips on how to make it easier, just check our Facebook page, check our YouTube channel, and HGBN channel. So my friends, this is ER from Abigail's Basket. Do not forget, every time you eat, every time you cook, God wants you to be healthy, and God wants you to be happy. God bless you. He's coming, Broadcasting Network.